the fusion rifle saw a massive rework in Season of the Lost, altering the damage and projectile profiles of most fusion rifle archetypes. High impact frames have become clunky, slow powerhouses, while rapid fire frames now shoot as fast as you expect and deal quite a good amount of damage compared to their counterparts. The update has seen a mixed opinion from many players with some welcoming the update and others not so much as of yet. I have found the new weapon update both interesting and fun to mess around with since I now have a reason to fully use rapid fire fusions and high impact frames, although slow, do now reward players more with timing and accuracy. Although this season is still new, we still have plenty of time to test out each and every one of the new fusions updates with additional perks to create a final and precise review. Ultimately, one weapon out of the update has become very relevant to the current PvE and PvP meta and is starting to trend rapidly as the next go-to weapon for whatever content you're in. That weapon is the Cartesian Coordinate. The Cartesian Coordinate is a rapid fire fusion with a charge time of 460 and a base magazine size of 7. It can be gotten via Season 14 Umbral Engram under Shock Trooper or by simply ranking up Shax, Zavala or Banshee for a chance for it to drop. Its stats now may look low and easily outperformed by Zealot's Reward and Null Compulsion, but don't let this fool you. Although both Zealots and Null provide better stats on paper, Cardizan actually is the best of the three because of the updated perk pool and higher zoom which for PvP means a lot if you want to now your bolts for accurate kills. On top of that, the weapon is very easy to farm, different roles for, and is best suited for both PvE and PvP areas with little investments. Of course, this is all opinion based. The buff for fusion has changed a number of things to how they perform and rapid fires have received the best update out of all. In the patch note, rapid fires have received a base charge time decrease from 0.54 seconds to 0.46 seconds. Shots per burst increase from 7 to 9, which increases total damage per burst. And on top of that, all fusion have received an increased PvE damage bonus of 15%, making them even more lethal to use in game. This sounds all dandy and you may think that's really it, but truthfully, these singular buffs to the archetypes are huge in comparison to their latter versions. The base charge time decrease from 0.54 seconds to 0.46 seconds is very noticeable in game as allow you to shoot two shots back to back with little delay. Using this in PvP for example, I can take on aggressive players who rely on closing the gap to win most 1v1s, as the fusion is now capable of recovering its missed shots. If I went up against a shotgun user, I'll be able to fire two shots before they are able to, and this change alone allows me to turn the tide against those who play a aggressive playstyle. Not only are we able to keep up against the most common meta in PvP, but also the damage numbers have changed. Before, each bolt for rapid fires was 7 each, which if you played with them in the past, weren't enough to finish off a player in one shot. But now, they have been changed to 9 each, which means they are fully capable of taking out a player in one full burst if you manage to land your shots, and don't worry about missing as you can easily follow up from there. This change in PvP is remarkable and highly slept on by players who haven't given the art type a go. In PvE, you wouldn't expect to use this fusion type in any boss series or endgame environments. But thanks to the buff and the new season mod, Particle Deconstruction, Rapid Fires are slowly becoming the new meta for DPS encounters. A prime example of this is the Templar encounter in Valk. If you have the Cardians coordinate with Vorpal or High Impact fans with the new seasonal mod, well, let's just say your DPS will be off the charts. Which reminds me, when farming for Cardians coordinates, you want to have two roles available for both PvE and PvP. For PvP, Red Dot Mower 2, Particle Repeater or Liquid Coils, Under Pressure and the High Impact Vans or Vorpal is the ideal role you want to aim for. For this role, you want to focus on stability as much as possible so your bolts are as accurate as possible. More range is good, but rapid fires aren't designed with range in mind compared to the high impact frames. They require the user to be close to mid range and play an aggressive stance when against other users. The change to bolt damage will immensely help for landing one shot and with better accuracy to boot, this will improve it further. For PvE, Clean Shot IS or Hitmark IS, Liquid Coils or Particle Repeater, a Feeding Frenzy or Slideways, and a Swashbuckler, High Impact Rounds, Vorpal and Fresh are the best perks to pick. For this role, you have a lot of leniency in terms of picking and choosing what you want to use in PvE. Unlike PvP, 
Scopes and battery parts can honestly be anything that you want since they won't make too much of a difference in this activity. The last two columns though will make a difference depending on what you want the weapon to focus in. Want to use the weapon for combatant kills? Fiend Frenzy and Swashbuckler is the best choice to go with. Want to use this weapon for mini bosses to bosses DPS? A slideways and Vorpal will be a success. You have many roles to pick so choosing which one is needed for certain encounters will be key to your own success. Hopefully this mini guide on fusions and the recent update should give you the information to go ahead and grind for the following fusion. It's picking up traction with players but I haven't seen a large increase just yet. Once everyone has gotten most of their other tasks out of the way with, then give this weapon art type a try. Cartisan and the other rapid frames will most likely rule endgame and PvP for a good while. Well, hopefully. So if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and a sub and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny related content if you do that type of stuff link is down below. But once again thanks for stopping by and I'll see you all in the next one.